Hello, my name is Hank Green. I'm the chief editor of VicoGeek.org, and today I am bringing you light bulbs. Light bulbs. I've been getting all these light bulbs for sample posts, and now I have enough that I can actually do a comparison between CFLs and LEDs and regular incandescents and other LEDs. That's what we're going to do today. Beginning with your traditional incandescent light bulb. Here we have a 40 watt incandescent light bulb pulling 39, 38 watts. Uh, as to be expected. I can already feel this getting quite hot in my hand. It's a little space heater. If you're ever cold, you just put one of them in your shirt pocket and it will burn your shirt. This is a 40 watt rated CFL. They look pretty much exactly the same except this one is a little bit brighter. And maybe the light is a little bit warmer coming off of this thing than this thing. This was at 39 watts. This is pulling 14. So yes, CFLs are better for you and for the environment. Hooray! Ow. I know what you're thinking. You're the chief editor of EcoGeek. Why do you have an incandescent light bulb in your house? Well, I went out and bought one so that I could do this test, okay? And I'm never gonna use it again. So that was very efficient of me. Now, we have a very exciting light bulb. This is the EarthLED CL3. It's one of the most compact, most efficient, and best LED light bulbs out there from EarthLED, one of the greatest companies currently making these things right now. This is a 20 watt equivalent, so this isn't gonna be exactly uh, the same as you can tell. So this guy right now, I told you before, pulling about 14 watts. Three, between two and three is how much this is pulling. So that's just amazing. Obviously one of the big problems with LED light bulbs is that they're not always quite as bright as you would like them to be. And they have to stay cool. So when you start making LED light bulbs that are really bright, they get too hot and their life is decreased. And one of the greatest things about this guy is that it probably is still going to be working when I'm like 50 or 60 years old. I also have for you the cheapest LED option that you can possibly find. I bought this the Decor LED Accent at Ace Hardware for $9.99. It is actually just a bunch of LEDs stacked together like you would find in, in normal uh, equipment. They're high brightness, of course, but they're the same technology, basically. No crap is pulling off of my kilowatt zero watts, which means less than 0.5 watts is how much this is eating up right now. It's not very bright, the equivalent of a 10 watt incandescent light bulb, but, but it's pretty fantastic for the price if you want to put it in a closet or somewhere where you're not going to use it a lot because CFLs don't like to be turned on an awful lot. Obviously not a 40 watt equivalent. Heat free technology lights up faster. You'll never change your bulbs again. I don't know what they're basing that on. A statement based on the minimum number of times the LED bulb needs to be changed. Whatever. Not very honest. This is the EarthLED Zeta Lux warm white bulb. You will see that this is a little bit warmer than this. But the light quality com coming off of here is, as you can see, pretty warm. I'm not turning into a pasty white cubicle drone or anything. So this actually uses cooling elements all along the outside, and that keeps the LED cool. This 41 equivalent bulb, right now, pulling five watts. This, again, like 15. This is three times more efficient than a CFL. Oh my god, that's so cool. This bad boy is a $50 light bulb, but it's worth every penny because it will last pretty much forever. It's three times more efficient than a CFL, and the ladies love it. They're totally cool to the touch. Finally, we have the most expensive light bulb I have ever touched in my life. It is the $79.99 Evolux S. This is a warm light bulb. I think it's a 60 or 70 watt equivalent. I can't look at it without hurting my eyes. And because it is producing so much light, the people at EarthLED actually had to figure out a way to keep it cool enough that it wouldn't overheat and decrease the lifespan, which is over 50,000 hours. The way that they've done that is they've actually put a little bitty tiny fan in here, which I don't know if you can hear. There's a tiny fan in here that's basically a processor fan like you would have on your CPU that, that keeps the LED chip cool so that it doesn't overheat and it will continue to last forever. Because it's using that fan and because it is such a bright bulb, it uses significantly more energy than the Zeta Lux, but still significantly less energy than the CFL. This is a 10 watt bulb. Oh my God, that's so cool. It is so cool that I'm sure that someone out there is going to want it. And so, I'm giving it away to one of the people who comments on this video at ecogeek.org. Just put your email address in the email address place and I will have access to that. You will be the proud owner of one of the world's most advanced light bulbs. It's an $80 light bulb, but I promise it's worth it. 50,000 hours of 10 watts is a lot of saved money. Rock on LEDs. This is Hank Green for ecogeek.org.